Hey guys, Avery here, Northline Nissan. Today we're looking at our 2015 Nissan Pathfinder SL. So as you can see, it's a nice deep dark green, jade I believe it's called. So I'm just gonna bring you on a brief walk through the vehicle. So looking in the front here, we have a bug visor and we have some fog lights to complement that weather we've been having. And right below here, we also have a block heater. Gonna be perfect, you don't wanna be caught without that when it gets cold. So coming around the side here, we're sitting on our Cooper tires and our machine finish alloys, and they still got really good tread on those. So another, so another feature to complement that with the weather coming up, we also have some heated mirrors here. So looking on the door, we have our keyless entry, so I'll push it once, locked, twice, unlocked, perfect. So looking at our door here, we have that beautiful double stitch leather and it has that wood and silver finish on it. So looking at the door here, we have some power options, we have our windows, locks, and our mirrors. So I'm just going to give you a look at the interior. We have that nice leather, it's heated, very comfortable. So looking down on our driver's seat here, you'll see we have some power option. We go forward, back, up, down, and we have our backrest, and we also have some lumbar support there. So being the SL model, it's lots of features in here. So I'm just going to show you a few right now. So looking left side of our steering wheel, we have our traction control. Our heated steering wheel takes only about 30 seconds. Our power lift gate to turn the power lift gate on and off. And down here we have our blind spot monitoring. So if someone pulls up in your blind spot, this light's gonna beep at you and it's gonna give you a little notification. So looking back down, we also have tow mode. And here this is the power for our 150 watt in the back there. I'll show you that in a moment. So bear with me as I enter the vehicle. So in this model here, we have our smart ignition. So I'm just gonna, as long as the key's in the vehicle, I'm just gonna hold the brake. One, two, perfect. So our heads up display is gonna light up for me there. We only have 37,000 kilometers, so she's still really low. And looking back at the steering wheel here, we have that nice leather wrapped steering wheel. It's heated if I mentioned. And on the right side, we have our cruise control options. And on the left side here, we have our Bluetooth options, some song settings if you want to change the source, the volume. And right here is our heads up display button. So it's, this is going to go through some options. So right now we have low feel, so it's going to give you that notification. Uh, your straight stretch there, your blind spot monitors, your average fuel consumption when you know, need to go to the gas station, tire pressure, just things like that. So looking to the right here, we have this nice big LED screen. And we have our, sorry, we have a radio on there. We also have an AUX and USB, but we'll get to that in a moment. And you'll see we have nav too. So you're never gonna get lost in the Pathfinder, good navigation system. And if I put it in reverse, it also has the backup camera with a 360 degree view. Very great if you're gonna be parallel parking or any close quarters like that, very helpful. So if you look down here, you can just go through the map, your route, your you can just go through some settings on there. Let me just back out of there. So looking down here, you always have our CD deck. You can change from AM, FM, your satellite to the AUX. And down here, we have our dual air conditioning unit. So you can go, uh, sorry, so both your passengers can have a different temperature. And looking down here, we have two 12 volts if you go and want to get two phones going. And in the front here, we have our two level heated seats, nice and warm. And looking back here, we have our automatic transmission, also has low gear. And right here, this is a switch from two wheel drive to four wheel drive, just to go on the, just put it in on the go there. And we also have a downhill descent right there. So looking in the console here, we have our shallow and we have our deep. And if you look on the inside there, there's a, sorry, there's another 12 volt in there. We also have some AV plugins. So looking at the side here, we have our glove box. We have some spare lug nuts in there and some nitrogen insulation kit. Nice deep glove box, good space in there. So bear with me as I come around the back. One moment. So looking in the back here, at our doors here, we have our chrome handles. And I'll just give you a brief look on the inside. Nice leather, no rips, no stains, very well, well maintained. So I'll show you this here first. We just have our hideaway cup holders. And looking in the back here, our, sorry, our passengers can control the AC settings. And here is our 150 watt that I was talking about, and our power outlet. And looking down here, our back passengers also have two level heated seats. So if you got the kids with here, something they're gonna be nice and warm too, no complaints. So first, if I pull this, it's just gonna give me the 6040 down. But if I go on this one, it's gonna bring it forward like that, giving us access to our third row passengers. And there's lots of room back here too. 
I'll just throw you back here. So I got good space back here, as you can see. Very comfortable, we got some AC back here too. And also, I'll show you, forgot to mention. So it just pulls back like that. If you wanna bring it back, we have a latch under here. So while I'm sitting in the back here, I forgot to show you here. We have a sunroof, pulls out like that, get that nice sun in, but it also comes with the moon roof. So even the back passengers can have that nice sun coming in the back too. And we just have the button for that right here. Cool, now I'm just gonna come around the back, one moment. So coming around the back here, I just thought I'd show you, these are our parking sensors that I was talking about earlier. So if you're backing up, they're gonna let you know if you're gonna be bumping into something. And you'll see here we have our tow hitch, comes with our seven pin wiring, and right below our Nissan symbol, perfect. So first things first, I'll show you on the back here. If you wanna lower your power lift gate, right here. And looking in here, I'll show you, this is our third row seat. So right now we just have a little bit of storage space, has this little cubby under here. It also has our uh, Bose amp in there. So a good little storage cubby there. But if you feel like you need that extra space, it just pops down like that. So I like the Pathfinder, it's very versatile. You can uh, accommodate to having more space or just having more passenger room. So a really good feature. And I'll also show you here on the left side, we have another 12 volt back here. So if you could be doing some daytime camping, bringing the cooler out, something like that. So I think that basically sums up our Pathfinder for today. If you had any more questions about this model, feel free to come on down to Northland Nissan and we'd be glad to help.